Hey everyone, I'm Casey Martin from Wine Country Pens and Wine Country Woodworks, and this is going to be a video of me making some pen blanks out of colored pencils. So I've seen quite a few people do this, and although it's taken me a while to try it myself, the main reason I am doing it is so I can fulfill a custom order of a customer who wanted me to make them for him. And what's actually really cool is the pens he's going to be making with them are going to be going to the Make-A-Wish Foundation to uh, kids in need. So the idea that I had to do it, as you just saw me mark out the length for my mold, was to actually cut them in their case, which was by far the best way I thought to cut the blanks or cut the pencils to length for the blanks. And it worked great. As you guys can see here, it definitely stays uh, together. And also the customer wanted the color ordering of the packs themselves to be the same as in the pen blanks and so for the I would say about 70 60 percent of the mold as you can see me put the pen the pencils into right there have that color coordination and since obviously two pads don't two packs don't fit exactly into the top half of the mold that wouldn't work completely for the top half but I, I still tried to keep them in order and then just take out a portion of the ordering. So by putting the, the packs together at the very beginning, I easily saw that about three packs was the width I needed, and I needed three packs on the top as well that didn't use the, all of the pencils in that pack, like the top half of the pack. So this was what I did to kind of just put them together. And then what you guys will see me do in a bit after I have all of the pencils on there is I decided I didn't know if they were going to float or not. Turns out it didn't float because I ended up making more blanks of the same exact type for my uh, customer and I didn't t tape them down. But what I, you'll see me do when these are all done is I end up putting a couple of scrap bad pen blanks that I had lying around on top right here and then I use a little duct tape to tape them down just so I kept the exact orientation of the the pencils that I wanted and to make sure that there wasn't going to be any floating or moving around so the resin I'm using is Illumilite for anybody who's not familiar with the resin it is a part A and part B resin that is mixed by weight so that's what I'm doing right now it's mixed exactly one by one by weight and then I mix it until it's crystal clear. Of course, there's going to be bubbles, but I'm going to put the resin under pressure for about four hours at 80 PSI at the very end. So I mix it until it's clear and I don't see any more striations or lines. And then the, since the pencils were really tight, when I was pouring it right here, I had to keep pouring it on different sides because it does end up seeping all the way through and you'll see me in a bit help it seep through with a popsicle stick but I didn't want to overflow the mold so I definitely kept putting a little bit in each little place and then just letting that kind of soak through a little bit and this ended up honestly being not as terribly challenging of a project as I originally thought I know when I see a lot of people make bowls and vases out of these, that I am sure is very challenging, but this actually was not as bad as I thought. And so right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of moving the resin around with the popsicle stick. I'm kind of sticking on to the, um, or sticking it into the pencils and not necessarily make a move too much, just a little bit enough so that I know it's getting all the way in there and just helping the resin soak through faster. So, and then all those little bubbles on the side you guys can see is because of the resin seeping through and causing the air to come up. So like I mentioned, I put the resin in a pressure pot for about four hours at 80 PSI. At least four hours before I cut them. I think these sat in there for about six or seven hours. And then I unscrew the mold to take it out. And then off camera, I tap it on the floor in a second to give it a little give to get out and then it pops right out you probably use mold release and not even have to hit the floor and it, it came out pretty perfect it's hard for you guys to see uh, perfectly like in person but the resin was pretty crystal clear of course the bottom of the mold is not the best and the the sides are where those little bubbles came up but in the actual pens there's no 
bubbles whatsoever that you guys will see shortly. So I cut them up on the table saw. As you guys can see, just them coming out, they look really sweet in my opinion. Um, the three stacks of pencils worked out perfectly. When I was cutting them, it was about, I would say, 2 and 75% of the third stack. Some of them have almost all three. And here they are, guys. I'm going to be making a video turning one of these. I made 10 for the customer, and then I kept five for myself, which means I'm going to be selling four of them. And I think I'm going to start selling these quite a bit because they're just so fun to make, and I think there's going to be a lot of people who think they're cool just like I do and want to make some really cool projects from them. So I'll leave an Etsy link down in the description where you can get those if you want. There will be four right away, and I'll keep making them if more orders come in. But I think these are going to look super cool, guys. I really like the orientation of them. I think once they're turned and curved, they're going to be great. So like the video if you guys liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And that's a pretty cool little uh, image to leave you guys with. Take it easy and see you in the next one.